Today, I'm going to be doing a Roblox review on my prison. This is something new I'm going to start doing, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be rating the game on the following. Gameplay, style, and my final thoughts. I will be giving it a score of 1 to 10 after my final thoughts. Remember, this is my opinion of the game, and you're welcome to share your thoughts and or if you think I was wrong about something in the comment section. I'll be doing my best to respond. I'm also going to be giving you the current codes that are out right now. Also, just so you know, I hit something in the video. The first person to tell me in the comments what it is and the timestamp of where you found it will get your message pinned in the comments section. If this is something everyone likes, I may add more rewards later. One more thing, don't forget to like the video if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. Alright, let's get started. Let's check out my prison. All right, let's talk about gameplay. Uh, this is the biggest section I'm going to go over as usual. I do think it's the most important part of a video game. Um, this is actually a tycoon game. Um, it may not have it in its name, but it's definitely a tycoon game. Uh, if you go into the building here, you know you can see all the different tiles you can do. There's floors, um, walls, of course. Um, then there's a whole bunch of other crap you're going to have to figure out yourself we're not going to go over all of it here we will go over some of it um your prisoners need somewhere to sleep somewhere to poo uh they need to eat they also need to have somewhere to eat and they also need to shower you have to have trash cans otherwise they just throw trash everywhere it's a pain in the butt um also a phone booth because they have to call their, their parents and let them know um what's going on of course because they're in jail all right, they also need workout equipment as well. Um, they will start riding if they don't have any of these. Um, so you have to make sure you're watching what they're saying. So let's go ahead and uh, head out and we'll go get some prisoners. It's kind of weird how this works. Um, the whole city is its full of criminals. Um, there's also the hood over here. There's two places to get criminals. There's the hood which is right here. I'll do a quick pass through over here at the hood for you. As you can see, those are all criminals, so we're not going to go over there because they look kind of scary. All right, and the other place where you can get criminals is Crime Town, or whatever it's called. I honestly don't remember what it's called, but if you look around, it's kind of interesting. They have like a plane crash up there. There's actually a noob hanging right here, which I thought was pretty cool. So you're just going to hop out of your car, hold E, Grab them, and then you actually throw them in the trunk. It's kind of funny. The first car you get only has uh, space for one criminal, which is really bad. So, yeah, you're going to want to get the next car as soon as possible. And the game is a little grindy, so, yeah. Alright, so we're back at the prison. Now you're just going to pull your criminal out of the car. You're just going to bring him in here. You can just release him. And there you go. Now each criminal is going to give you $10.00 every hour and your um, workers if you go here you can actually hire workers like the guard it costs fifty dollars just to hire him but then after that it's five dollars an hour um, we're not going to really go into all of these okay let's talk about style now um, this game it is a building game you can definitely build there's a decent amount of customization it's still in beta so there's not too much to it but there's still enough to get you by for right now um, you got floors and roofs, pretty self-explanatory. Walls, a whole bunch of different walls you can choose from. Um, I tried to use everything. I only used one fence though. I used a lot of the glass panels. Uh, light necessities, uh, you have a whole bunch of different beds that you can use. Uh, then you have the toilet and the sink and shower and stuff like that. Um, other necessities, so the necessities, you, you need these for your prisoners. Um, treadmill, weight bench, soda machines. Uh, the basketball hoop, actually, uh, you can't use that yet. I mean, you can use it for decorative purposes right now, but other than that, it has no purpose. I guess later on they're going to add something with that. I guess we'll see. Uh, the, the phone booth, they'll actually use this and call their, their parents. Um, it's pretty interesting, some of the stuff that they talk about. Plus, uh, they'll give you like tips on what, what they need on their for their needs. 
All right, and then you also have your worker stuff. The chef uses all this stuff here, the sink, the refrigerator, the kitchen counter, the oven. The guards actually use all of this here. Uh, the lockers don't have a purpose yet. They're purely aesthetic right now. There's a lot of stuff that's just for decorating that's going to have a use later on in the game. The lights, there's a whole bunch of different lights you can choose from. And the cameras right now, they don't have a purpose. They're just for decorating as well. The same thing with the metal detector gate. All of the, uh, these three right here, they will have a purpose later on. And then you actually have the decorations tab. There's not much here. A whole bunch of different potted plants, rocks. Uh, there's post-its and there's even a Robux money fountain, which I'm assuming gives you money every hour or something like that. The stairs are pretty expensive because they want you to like start out with the first floor before you go anywhere else. And then you can also buy uh, more plots of land and, and it's actually quite big and they have multiple different vehicles two 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 of them are for robux uh, this is actually the the small police cars when you start out with that one can only hold one prisoner then you have the long police car which actually holds three the swat car the, the swat car holds six and that's actually what i'm using right now i think the limousine yeah the limousine holds eight and the military truck actually holds 12. I don't think that 12 is really needed, honestly, unless you're constantly like losing prisoners because they're escaping. I did a pretty good job at, you know, making to where like I fulfilled all their needs. As far as, um, you know, the way my prison looks, it's, it's pretty good. I, I put a couple hours into this. I have them broken down into multiple different sections here. You got the, the barracks, the shower area, then you have the dining area. Um, I have uh, the guards. The guards actually need desks, so they're, here's their area here. This is the workout area. And you should see it when they come out here and work out. I'll show you guys that as well later on. All right, so let's go in and check out my prison. And just we'll, we'll get a first person view of this just so you guys can see, you know, how nice everything actually comes together. So I got the two metal detectors here, double gates, more security. And then a surveillance system set up here. This is actually the dining room. Do a quick tour of the, the top area. This is kind of like my SWAT room. So like if there's an emergency, they'll just gear up and head on down. And then this is like the guards uh, break area. Another, another um, guard station over here where they can view the surveillance cameras. All right, so the next part is the yard section. This is where they all come out and start working out. It's kind of annoying because if you have plenty of uh, workout equipment, they'll still complain, but they won't try and escape. I'm just gonna hang out by the phones here just so you guys can see some of the stuff that they talk about. Prison is hard for me. I need to find a job and work at a pizza place. Yeah, they do talk about other games like Jailbreak. I have a plan to get more pancakes at the cafeteria. Yeah, here's, a, here's another one. Last night I dreamed about jailbreak. All right, let's go over my final thoughts on this game. It's a tycoon. It's a pretty good tycoon. There's not very much going on in this game right now. It's still in beta. Um, they are gonna add more stats uh, for certain things like your prisoners later on. Uh, they're also gonna add other uses for, for items that you have. But yeah, there's, there's nothing that's gonna keep me playing the game for like an extended amount of time. Probably when there's an update, yeah. The building is good. I do think the building is pretty good. The, the over, overall style of the game is pretty good as well. Uh, the gameplay is good. Like I said, it's a tycoon. I do like tycoons, as long as there's something that's gonna keep me interested. With everything together, I'm going to be giving this game a seven out of 10. Um, and that's it for this episode of Roblox Review. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Have a good day, noobs.